-hmm. Hello, Jennifer Falayan here. We've been discussing Louise Hay, You Can Heal Your Life. It's a great book um, to work through. It's a classic. And now we're starting on chapter two. Chapter two is what is the problem? It is safe to look within. And some of the ideas covered in chapter two, um, these are some ideas that we may be feeling ourselves. My body doesn't work. My relationships don't work. My finances don't work. My life doesn't work. I mean, we all have these ideas every day of some section of our life that we feel needs improvement or isn't working. Maybe we get one section going, but then the other ones are, you know, falling far behind. She has some good exercises, and I encourage you to buy the book yourself and work through some of these exercises because we do need to do the work to figure out, okay, what is the problem and how can we solve it? A lot of times fear um, holds us back. Some of the ways um, that she also goes through in terms of trying to figure out how to love yourself, you know, loving the self, what are some of the thoughts and ways that we don't love ourselves? Some of these may be familiar to you. We scold and criticize ourselves endlessly. We mistreat our bodies with food, alcohol, and drugs. We choose to believe we are unlovable. We are afraid to charge a decent price for our services. We create illnesses and pain in our bodies. We procrastinate about things that would benefit us. We live in chaos and in disorder. We create debt and burdens. We attract lovers and mates who belittle or abuse us. Do any of those ways sound familiar? What are some of your ways that you deny yourself? If we deny any good in any way, it is not an act of loving ourselves. She discusses the perfection of babies, how when we were babies we were born innocents and had a sense of being the center of the universe, that babies aren't afraid to ask for what they want, they freely express their emotions. You know when a baby is angry, in fact the whole neighborhood knows, <laughs> you also know when babies are happy for their smiles light up a room, they are full of love. Tiny babies will, di will die if they do not get love. Once we are older, we learn to live without love, but babies will not stand for it. Babies also love every part of their bodies, even their own faces. They have incredible courage. The important part to realize is that you were like that. We all were like that. Then we began to listen to adults around us who had learned to be fearful, and we began to deny our own magnificence. There's an exercise that she has um, where she asks clients to pick up a small mirror and look into their own eyes and say their name. And also say, I love and accept you exactly as you are. Why don't you try that today? I know it's kind of cheesy, but pick up a mirror and say your name, <laughs> Jennifer, I love and accept you exactly as you are. I'll leave you with that thought today, and continue with me as we work through this book and work through other ideas. Stay tuned, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, and I look forward to working with you soon.